25 to 28. I am going to read Numbers 18, 25 to 28. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Levites and say to them, When you receive from the Israelites the tithe I give you as your inheritance, you must present a tenth of that tithe as the Lord's offering. Your offering will be recorded as to you as grain from the threshing floor or juice from the wine press. In this way, you also will present an offering to the Lord from all the tithes you receive from the Israelites. From these tithes, you must give the Lord's portion to them and the priest. So, the issue or the concept of tithing is something that it is God Himself who instituted to His people. Aliwambia, because I am your God and you are my people. This is how I want you to behave when you come into worship. <coughs> Time is something that is necessary whether you are young, whether you are old. If you go, if you are called according to God's name, then time is something that you must learn to practice. As a young person, some people will say, Pastor means in a case. It is true. I want a case. Some people say, Give me a case in a fire. And let me tell you something. If you cannot learn to tithe from the little that God has given you, you will never ever tithe when God blesses you with much. Because if you are not a good one, it is very easy to give 10 shillings. But if you are not a good one, you will be a good one. Can you imagine when God blesses you with 100,000 shillings every month? Will you be able to tithe? Is a concept that 
hope in your life and you start practicing it. Then it becomes part of your life. Then you will not struggle with even other giving. Especially our young people. I've gone to many places. I've ministered in many youth services. But one of the things I've discovered, young people do not even give an offering. What we need to do is to talk to them. I don't care about the family. I don't care about worship teams. We don't know about worship teams. Holiday. 
But then it was a religious function. The 10% was for the religious function of going to celebrate the Passover. So it was commanded that they must save 10% for that particular thing. And we can tell you even if the concept of saving today, at of Shatu Akai, Utoe Sadaka, with the bills, I mean, you must save some money. And if you learn to start saving now, when you are a young person, by the time you get to my age, you will not be where I am. You will be where father from where I am. Some of us learn this concept when they took out and said, no, I'm just a little dog. But I realized, I'm not a little bit of a dog. I'm not a little bit of a dog. That's why people in the Billions of shillings, but you own after shilling me and me. Okay, like you know, an airtime, you find a tip. Like you do that after billions, you have to cut up on food. Because everything else they have. There's something they say, money takes its level. And I said, man, who keep a two shilling me and me, who takes my shilling me and me? Who keep a two million B, who takes my shilling me? So there's no time that you can't give, there's no time that you can't save. And then there was a 3% also that was commanded annual. That was annual to go and help the poor or the needy within the community. That is for Israel. Do we have many people in our midst? That's why I always say, come on with us idea of Christo and Zako. Our good of man and Then our Christianity is useless. Faith without works is as good as dead. Okay. Utoi offerings. Sasa lazima utakute pesa ya kusev, api ya kusevia utimu. But the only thing I always say, always budget for money that you want to help people with. Kwa sababu ukiwacha open, ukiwacha open, na nisha kutoke tukote, pesa ikikia tu kwa simi yako kama kaya mpesa, 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 kama kaya mpesa. But if you have a budget for helping people, when that budget is over, when this quarter, this month, I have budgeted 3,000 in case somebody needs help. When you always go back to the Pesa, you don't know what to do with the Pesa. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. And you don't know what to do with the Pesa. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. Monday, Monday, if you can. You don't know what to do with the Pesa. So that's the concept of tithing. You know, some people say that in the New Testament that when Christ came, tithing was abolished. No, that is not true. In the New Testament, actually our threshold for giving was raised. So Christ did not want to talk about the things that are already said. Why should he dwell on those things? Listen to what he says in Matthew 23, 23. Walk to you, teachers of the law and Pharisees, you hypocrites. You give a tenth of your spices, meat, dill, cumin, but you have neglected the more important matters of the law. Justice, mercy, faithfulness, you should have practiced the latter without neglecting them. Formal. Practice is easy to be sorry. Eh? The important matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith, but do not neglect the latter. We have to have in the New Testament that we are not supposed to tie Anakudangai. Anakudangai. Because we have to attack to tie and talk about the law. It's the same thing as I'm going to say a movement in the corner, the feminist movement. Ule mutu ataki kuolewa na mkaku wana watoto, uwa wanzema kuolewa ni kuolewa ni kufeku. Because he ataki kuolewa. So, anataka kukua na followers. You young people, mutu ataki kuolewa, 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 mutu ataki kuolewa. Because there are some things that are biblical and we must follow. Are we together? So, in the Old Testament, tithing actually was an integral part of worshipping God. I'm not even talking about the offerings in the Old Testament. That one requires a, a series of four Sundays to talk about the offerings in the Old Testament. But let me talk about the offerings in the New Testament. Just, we are going to base some of the things I'm going to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and chapter 9. You see, I said the New Testament giving is taken a much higher. Because we are commanded to be generous. That is why you see Paul in, uh, in, in, in 1 Corinthians 16 2 says, Set aside at the beginning of the week what you are going to give when you come to the service. So it is also giving, it's also being given priority in the Christian's life. Which means 
we have to give way about the 10 percent. That is the floor. We can hit the ceiling or we can hit the staff, but we must start at 10 percent. So that's why I say the generous offerings, because I have like five minutes remaining. Uh, it says that they must start by offering ourselves first. That's what Paul says in, in Romans 12. Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in the view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy, pleasing to God. And this is your spiritual act of worship. We must first start by giving ourselves to the Lord as an offering, as a, as a, as a living offering, uh, to be laid on the altar of God, to be burnt as a living sacrifice. You know, you are but you are holding back. And we're going to ten percent of you. But in the New Testament, we have to give ourselves only to God. Second Corinthians 8 5 says, And they did not do as we expected, but they gave themselves first to the Lord and then to us in keeping with God's will. They may not have done what we expected and do in terms of giving. But it says that they first gave themselves to the Lord and then to us as servants. You try to move once and then give yourself to be led by us pastors. Before even we can talk about any other thing. I've always reminded people one of the things that is very central in my Christian belief is you can never ever be a leader if you cannot be led. That's why they're saying here, give yourself first to God and then to the people who are leading you and then we can talk about other offerings. Regardless of what you are going through in life, you must, as an act of worship, purpose to give an offering when you come to worship. There's no excuse for any Christian not to give an offering. You have something to give. It does not matter what it is. If God has given you 50 shillings, with your 50 shillings with a clean heart and give it. Come on, move up here for Kumi. We are not going to be with each other who is going to give the highest. Are we together to them? We can easily know about what is to shine. I don't care how many of you are going to be able to do the same thing. God blesses us differently. So when it comes to giving, you know, 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 and I want to say this. We see not only the drive car, the main park park. Eh? At least young women don't want to be talking. Hahaha. We can't. You know, we can't. We can't move. We don't want to have to carry out the duty and talk about it. We want to stand up and compete. We want to put our own back on the corrupt people as in, so that we can get money. That's what drive car is all about. This is what the, the Paul says in Second Corinthians eight two to three. Out of the most severe trial. Their overflowing joy and their extreme poverty well up in rich generosity. Can you imagine? And as I said, their overflowing joy, even in their most severe trial, and their extreme poverty. Nani yapa? The time I was speaking from here, some of us grew up in a very humble background that our poor neighbors called us poor. Our poor neighbors. Called us poor. Could I go to a poor But in a summer, even in the extreme poverty, well, they went up in rich generosity. Rich generosity. Then what the end? Well, you want to compare, what I want to compare, even if you are a Christo or Corinth or a Pitia, not the other year, we are in Toa, and we are in Metoa in our store. That's why you have to commend them here. So it does not matter at what position you are in life, there will always be something that you can give in the presence of the Lord. Because you have been commanded to accept the giving. Second Corinthians 8, I am finishing with this one because of time. For if the willingness is there, the willingness is there. Give you a of the willingness
if you have a good relationship with God. When we're in here, it's the one. It's the same thing with giving. If you have a willing heart, you go to For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what he has, he does not have.
Hakuna hata shamba zuko zikozo fa hata kuna kutumia fertilizer ni mbegu tu unakwenda kwa shimo. Unangojea two months, una harvest ya hapo hapo inakuja na hapo. Hapo kuna gongo huko zinazozo fifty. Na they are still making money. If you can do it yourself, I can see that most young people are selling things online. Hapo mbele una mtu akimzia kitu online. Eh? Unuzie, unuzie at a time peke yake tu. Online sio pasi kwa time hapo. I will buy to support you. So that I know at the end of the day, ukiwa na offer ngao na ukiwa na time, mimi na pasta tutapata kasoko. Na what you want is to see you people grow. And when you go kuwa, it starts by you giving. Hakuna mtu anabarikiwa kama yeye mkunja mkono. Ukomba kwa 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 sababu mkunja wewe, if you have to receive something you must receive this what is in your hand. Your mkono iko tu ndio kitu mimi fanyi. Mungu awariki. The Father in Jesus name is thank you for your work. Even as we discuss the issues of tithing and offerings, I want to pray that Lord, you are going to quicken in our hearts to be able to understand scripture and to be able to do that which we learn from scripture. Because we know these are commands that you've given unto us because they are acts of worship. It's part of the worship in you. And Lord, when we come into the house of God, Father, we pray that you bless our lives in such a way that Lord will always have something to bring into the household. That even for those who do not have ideas, those who do not have jobs, I want to pray that Lord will to open doors for them to be able to earn so that they can be able to worship you, they can also be able to save for their own lives, and they can be able to help others, those who are in need. We thank you, we are in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.